All right, when it comes to your doctors and nurses taking care of themselves, many health care providers are more likely to actually choose complementary and alternative medicines such as acupuncture and massage than the general population. So take a look at the results from a study of over 14,000 health care workers. 76% of those workers say they use alternative medicine as opposed to 63% of the general public. That's the subject of our weekly look at how to get and stay healthy. And why does this disparity exist? Healthy living expert Dr. Bill Lloyd joins us now from Boston. So Dr. Bill, uh, tell us the big differences between traditional health care and these kind of complementary alternative treatments. Well, Frederick, in traditional medicine, nurses and doctors find problems and then fix them. Your blood pressure is too high? Here, take a pill. But in complementary and alternative medicine, they want to be more holistic and get to the root cause. Here's a list of some important differences involving complementary medicine. They use natural products instead of medications, things like fish oil or probiotics. They like to practice mind-body medicine, things like meditation, yoga, and acupuncture. They also like body-based practices, things like spinal manipulation and massage, and something else called movement therapies that many of you may have heard about, activities like Pilates, which won't directly lower your blood pressure, but will increase your flexibility and your strength, your overall health, which might, in fact, over time, hmm. lower that blood pressure. Okay, so then why would some of these same doctors be recommending what people would know as traditional medicine? Why are they recommending that as opposed to the alternative kind of therapies? Well, you know, a couple of reasons. Nurses and doctors are insiders as far as the healthcare system, so they know where the gaps in treatment are. They know American medicine isn't perfect, so like other patients, they're also looking for solutions as well. But Frederica, you know, in this environment, many healthcare providers practice defensive medicine. Mm -hmm. So unless there's really solid evidence-based comparisons between this type of therapy versus conventional therapy, then they may be reluctant to recommend it to their patients. But out in the parking lot, if you ask your doctor, they may tell you, I can't talk to you now I've got to go to my massage <laughs> okay so does it have to be kind of an all or none proposition are some of the doctors kind of mixing it up well, you know, that's the great thing about it. This blends perfectly. Take the field of pain medicine, for example, where, yes, it's true, many people who suffer severe pain are on a variety of different medications, but many of them are also referred to these alternative practitioners to study meditation, different types of exercise, acupuncture, and other practices in addition to their medications to relieve their symptoms. Okay, so how does one go about exploring alternative medicine? How do you begin? Sure. Well, the first thing is go right back to your regular doctor like we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. They may have some insights for you. If the doctor seems to be kind of cool to the idea, look up a specialist, an MD who practices integrative medicine. These are doctors that combine, just like you said earlier, evidence-based alternative therapies with traditional therapies. Make sure wh whoever you go to, you always verify their training and experience. Mm -hmm. These alternative practitioners have to have licenses, and you go on the Internet, you can find out all about them. It's also important for to carefully monitor all the drugs, therapies, and treatments and natural products that you're taking because there can be collisions sometimes that could lead to adverse events. So finally, always make sure you notify your regular doctor everything that you're taking, including herbals or other uh, probiotics and other natural products to make sure there isn't a, an interaction with the medications you've already been prescribed. All right, Dr. Bill Lloyd, helping us stay healthy. Thanks so much. Always good to see you. This time from Boston. We'll talk again soon. Okay. Thank you.